Hi friends, my name is Maddie and I'm a museum educator here at the Creative Discovery Museum. Today for Kitchen Chemistry, we're gonna be learning about emulsifiers and stabilizers, all right? So have you guys ever heard the saying that oil and water don't mix? Today, we're gonna to find out why, and then we're gonna use chemistry to find ways to force them to stick together, all right? As far as our kitchen tools go, we're gonna need quite a few things. We're gonna need a mixing bowl, a knife, plate, if you have it, a lemon squeezer, although it's not necessary, a plastic water bottle, measuring cups, specifically a quarter cup, a whisk or fork, measuring spoons, a container of some sort, could be a jar or Tupperware, a cutting board, and lastly, an electric mixer or a blender. And for ingredients, we're going to need eggs, a lemon, oil of your choice. I like to use canola and uh, olive oil, but you could use vegetable as well. Mustard, again, it could be any type of mustard. Then we're also going to need vinegar. Again, you can use any vinegar of your choice. Today we have red wine and balsamic vinegar. Herbs, you can use any herb that you like. We're gonna use rosemary and then also salt and pepper. And that should be all for your material. But for our first experiment, let's just go ahead and observe what water and oil does when they're put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out a quarter cup of water. And I'm gonna dump it into my measuring cup here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and measure out a quarter cup of oil. And I'm gonna pour it right on top. So observe what you see here. After we've poured our water and oil into our cup, take a minute to observe what you see. I see two distinct layers. We have water on the bottom and oil on top. Let's see what happens if we take our fork and whisk and mix it up really good. So it looks pretty cloudy, right? And it seems like the oil and water have mixed together, but watch what's happening. Slowly, the water and oil is beginning to separate into those two layers again. So the reason for this is because oil is hydrophobic. So what that means is basically oil doesn't like water molecules. So instead of fusing together, they repel and move apart. So the reason that the oil goes to the top instead of the water going to the top is because water is more dense than the oil is. So the, the oil naturally just wants to rise and form a layer on top of the water. So our oil and water separating can become a problem when we're cooking because sometimes we want our oil and water to mix. So there are a couple tricks that we're going to do in our experiments to trick our oil and water staying together by using a couple different ingredients. Our first experiment is we're gonna make a vinaigrette and that's a salad dressing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three parts oil to one part vinegar. So we're gonna go ahead and have our oil and our vinegar handy. Today I'm gonna use olive oil and then I'm gonna use balsamic vinegar. And I'm gonna measure out three tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of balsamic and put it into my jar. Now vinegar is made mostly of water, about 90%. And we're gonna watch and see what happens with our balsamic vinegar as it mixes with the olive oil. Notice that we still have a little bit of separation here, but it's not quite the same as the water and the oil was. Put the lid on my jar really tight, and I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it a lot, see what happens. We've made our vinaigrette. We know that our oil and vinegar is still going to separate, and I promised you guys a, tr you guys a trick to make sure that doesn't happen. So we're gonna use something called a stabilizer, and today our stabilizer is gonna be mustard. So mustard is a stabilizer, and it keeps the droplets of oil from reconnecting, so therefore our oil and vinegar won't separate into those layers that we saw earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little spoonful of mustard and drop it into my vinaigrette, and then I'm gonna put the lid on, give it one more good shake, and this should prevent it from separating into those two layers. Okay, so we made our vinaigrette. Let's go ahead and move on to our next experiment, and together we're gonna to be making some mayonnaise. All right, so to start making our mayonnaise, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our egg, and we're gonna separate the yolk from the egg whites. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. The first way is to grab a cup or bowl, crack the egg, but make sure you let it fall into your hand, and then, 
Very gently spread your fingers apart and you'll watch as the egg whites fall into the cup and you're left with your yolk. And once you have your yolk, you can go ahead and drop it into your mixing bowl. The second way that you can separate your yolk from the egg white is you can go ahead and grab an egg and you're going to want to crack it into a plate. And then this is the fun part. So we're gonna go ahead and take our plastic water bottle, very gently squeeze it, not all the way, just a little bit, then hold it up to your yolk at an angle and then release your grip. Ta-da! And then once you have it in the water bottle, you can go ahead and just squeeze it into the bowl. And just remember when you go ahead and crack your eggs and use them, we wanna make sure that they're at room temperature. We don't want them to be cold, fresh out the fridge, and we don't want them to be cooked, obviously. So we're going to need a tablespoon of lemon juice, and that's about half of a lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handy dandy lemon squeezer here. And I'll go ahead and squeeze it into my bowl. If you don't have this tool, you can always just use your, your hands. No big deal. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of salt into my bowl. All right. Dump it in. Okay. With these three ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and mix these together and you can either do this in your blender or your electric mixer that I have here. And we wanna mix it until the egg becomes foamy and sort of light looking, lots of bubbles. We're gonna go ahead and measure out one cup of oil. I'm using canola oil, but you could also use vegetable oil if that's what you have on hand. And then what we're going to do is while we are mixing, we're going to slowly add our oil to the mixture in a very steady stream. It's very important that you do it slow and steady. incorporated we have the base of our mayonnaise made what do you think all right let's go ahead and taste it now and see what it's like so it tastes like mayonnaise <laughs> it's really good um, it's salty and you can definitely taste the lemon in there but if you want you can always add some more herbs so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of pepper and mix that in just to give it a little extra something. And that should make it kind of spicier. Let's see. Pretty good. Okay, so let's talk about why we don't have any separation with our oil and our mixture of all the good stuff. <laughs> so the reason being our egg yolk acted as an emulsifier. So this way it blocked our oil molecules in the same way that our mustard did when we made our vinaigrette. So that way everything, everything can stay incorporated and there's no separation. Even though we learned at the beginning of this experiment that oil and water don't mix, there are clearly some tricks we can use in the kitchen to make delicious things like our vinaigrette and our mayonnaise. So go ahead and enjoy what you just made and we'll see you next time in Kitchen Chemistry.